Welcome to GTI Predictive Technology. We are here today to show you a video of a brand new hardware and software on our iPad Vibration Analyzer platform. Uh, as everybody already knows, our entry-level two-channel platform has been one of the best price sets in the industry uh, in a whole. Um, you're able to run Vipro, which is a full route software, for one of the best entry-level prices on the market today. But this is a single-channel system that we're going to be offering today and it's called Vibe RMS and we're able to eliminate the DAC box on our existing unit and be able to run an accelerometer straight through Apple's camera connection kit and you can see I've got a spectrum going here and just in one hand here is our new accelerometer running directly into an iPhone 6 Plus so we are going to be offering this on the 6 Plus on the 6 and the entry level price of $29.95 is going to come with the single ax or single channel accelerometer and an iPad in an industrial case, completely calibrated and loaded with our software that I'm going to show you today. So what I'd like to do is let's project that software on the screen so you can see all the great tools that are going to come with this system. So I'm going to turn the system on and immediately you will see Vibe RMS. And I'm going to open it. And one of the unique feature sets that you're going to notice right away is that I can build a machine right on the device. So let me tap on that button and you'll see immediately a bunch of tools appear. So now I can just tap on one of these motors and one of these pumps and drag them together. And now I've got a complete industrial setup that I would normally have. And now I can just tap on these arrows and it immediately puts them right in their appropriate places for vibration measurement, listing them out at H2, H1, wherever their appropriate uh, measuring points would be. But another level above that, what if our assets aren't something that's included in our sample motors and pumps that we have here? So what we've done for you, if I just uh, pull these back out and pull these arrows away, I can now take a photo or pull from my photo album, which I'm about to do here, is a picture of this motor that's sitting right here in front of us. So I can either take that picture with the iPad or I can pull that picture that I took before out of the photo album and it immediately puts it right in its appropriate place on the screen. And now I can tap back on those arrows and you can see they go and fall right into place. If they don't fall into place, I can simply drag them and drop them anywhere I want, as you can see there. So now all I have to do is type in test motor, hit the plus button, and it immediately tells me success, it's been saved, and it is now part of my database. So any specialized custom asset that we record gets saved in the database. So if we ever want to take that asset point again, we simply pull it up out of the hierarchy and it's right there in front of us. So let me back out of that and I'd like to jump right into the measurement vibration. I'm going to turn this motor on here so that we actually get a spectrum. I'm going to open the measurement vibration and you can see immediately it defaults to a standard drive motor. Um, but that's uh, just the first item. We can pull any one. And you'll also see on my right I've got the vibration meter and a little toggle of every vibration meter that I'm going to tap along that motor. But let's go to the first uh, typed icon on the bottom called machine type. As I open that up you immediately see you've got a lot of nice tools that you can pull from of combinations of pumps, motors, blowers, um, any different attachment. But again we may not have that asset or something that looks like that asset. So we're able to hit the custom view button and you can see there's that motor that we just saved together in this video. I can just tap that, tap on the screen and my motor pulls up just as we took it a picture of earlier. And you can see all my little vibration meters are in their appropriate places above the arrows. So now all I have to do, or what a customer has to do, is move that accelerometer to these different points. He can hit the velocity and acceleration button to change it. So he just hits the point, takes the measurement, switches to acceleration, takes that second measurement in both velocity and acceleration. Same thing at the next point and just follows through throughout the whole motor on each point as we go through. Very simply, nothing any quicker could be done than this. So once we're done taking all the data from those points, 
we can now go into our report field. But before we go to that report field, let me show you some of the other functionality of the unit. We got settings. And as you can see behind me, I can do metric, uh, imperial uh, settings. I can attach spectrum, yes or no. I'm going to leave it in the yes mode so you can see the spectrums we've saved. And you can put your company logo there. So whoever you send this report to has your logo on it. Also, our thresholds. I pull that up behind me here, and you can see I can put my danger and alert thresholds for acceleration, velocity, and displacement on this. So we have all three modes. And you can see on the top, I can default to ISO uh, 10816 or ANSI specifications there by just toggling to and automatically putting those thresholds in. Or I can put in my own custom thresholds. Next button across is Spectrum. I can pull up my spectrum, I can pinch that in and out, I can switch that spectrum from velocity to acceleration, whichever I please. And then the next button is machine info. And you see I've got machine ID, the model number, uh, RPM, all the critical data that you would want to take on any pump or motor for machine data. Uh, also another spot for your logo there. Now we come to the report. So now we've taken all our data, we've taken all our measurement points on this motor, we simply tap the report button. And up pulls a beautiful report showing our photo, all our data points, our time stamp, our thresholds, all that, our logo nicely placed up top. And you see second page of the report is all my velocity spectrums, and third page are all my acceleration spectrums. So everything in one neat little package. And at the bottom there you'll see I can either email or save the data to the report manager right on the app. So I can just save that right to the iPad and email it later. Or before I ever leave the asset point, I simply hit the email button. It puts the PDF in the email and that can go to wherever it is intended to go. So again, brand new hardware, brand new software on an entry level device at $29.95. I think the customers are gonna be exceedingly pleased with what we have here. Um, so, any other questions that this video generates, please contact us at gtipredictive.com or you can call us direct at 603-669-5993. We thank you for your attention.